Not R2-D2, but the Roxo got plenty of attention as it scooted around the Capitol Rotunda. FedEx is testing the autonomous delivery device prototype in cities around the country. Delegate Clay Riley, Republican out of Harrison County, is the lead sponsor on House Bill 4675. Riley said to continue bringing cutting-edge technology like the Roxo to West Virginia, a framework for regulation and public safety measures sets us up for the future. Right now the technology is about five miles delivery. It can climb stairs, it can go over sidewalks, it can go over crosswalks, but eventually that will continue to expand out and so they want to be able to test it here and bring it to West Virginia. Roxo travels on sidewalks and the sides of roads. It's remotely operated, carries $100,000 in road insurance, and as Scott Poshnick with FedEx explains, it knows how to safely maneuver anywhere. It knows everything. It uses all the greatest technologies out there from LiDAR to radar uh, and other, other technologies to make sure that it maps and can see everything that's in front of it and going on. Speed limits 12 and a half miles per hour on a sidewalk, 20 on the side of the road. These personal delivery devices basically have the same rights and right of ways as a pedestrian or a bicycle. The Roxo is designed for delivery, anything from that pizza for the big ball game to grandma's medications from the pharmacy. As you begin to see, unfortunately, less and less brick and mortar stores, this might be an opportunity to see a little bit of revitalization of those because they, they have an, uh, an option to, for delivery. This is primarily for suburban and urban areas, uh, but who knows? I mean, the sky's the limit here. Um, it may not be able to right now go down the holler. Delegate Riley says the Mountain State may be on the short list for driverless delivery right to your door. For West Virginia Public Broadcasting, I'm Randy Yowie. Support for the legislature today is provided by Marshall University and SEGRA.